news today, Zack Snyder's Justice League was released on HBO Max. I got a chance to watch it yesterday, so today I'm putting Justice League against Zack Snyder's Justice League, as if you guys already don't know the winner. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Gabriel and I love to rank movies. If you can relate, consider hitting that subscribe button. And please know that everything I say about these movies is just my opinion, but I would love to see yours down in the comment section. But with that said, let's get started. Now to be completely honest, I don't think Justice League is a bad film at all. Sure, the CGI is horrible and the characters it introduced as well as the characters that were already set up were used terribly, but really, some of the comedy is pretty good and all of the acting was pretty amazing in my opinion. But obviously where this film falls flat is whenever there is a scene by, you guessed it, Joss Whedon. All of the best jokes in this film were from Zack Snyder, and the ones that I thought weren't funny at all are from Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon just ruined what Zack Snyder already made. Like I said, I am a defender of Justice League, but that is not to say it's without its problems. Steppenwolf is a horrible villain in this version, and he is barely even a threat to the heroes. The character Cyborg does absolutely nothing for the film. But I actually like The Flash and Ezra Miller's portrayal as him. I actually like this film, but after seeing Zack Snyder's original vision for this film, I like it a bit less. Justice League is a good movie in my opinion, and I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Zack Snyder's Justice League is fantastic. I actually don't think the original Justice League is very bad like you just saw, but I can still say that this film is even better. They didn't butcher any of the characters and they served justice to all of them. Snyder's version had a much more fleshed out story and tone and this is easily my favorite out of Zack Snyder's trilogy in the DCEU. They didn't butcher the characters Cyborg and Flash like I just said, but they gave them an interesting backstory and made them amazing characters. I thought it would be boring, and I was intimidated by the 4 hour runtime, but I was entertained throughout the whole film and never got bored. He wasn't in it much, but Jared Leto got redeemed as the Joker. I actually don't think Steppenwolf was a bad villain now that we got to see him more and figure out why he was doing what he was doing. Zack Snyder provided a nice sense of humor too, something that Joss Whedon never did in the original. The best jokes in Justice League were even from Zack Snyder like I said earlier. And now I know all Joss Whedon did for the original Justice League was hurt it. Every action scene in this film was perfect with outstanding CGI compared to the CGI. CGI and Justice League. Like I said, this film is four hours long. Four hours. As of recording this, it is the longest movie I have ever seen. But it needed to be that long for the story to make sense. And because Justice League had a mandated runtime of under two hours, sometimes it didn't make any sense. But in Zack Snyder's version, everything made sense and I was never confused because everything was explained amazingly. At first, the aspect ratio of the film kind of threw me off, but after seeing it for four Four hours, I got used to it, and I didn't mind it at all. If I'm ever going to watch a Justice League movie, I'm going to watch Zack Snyder's version. If I ever want to watch a DC movie, I'm going to watch Zack Snyder's version. After thinking about it more, Zack Snyder's Justice League is my new favorite DC film of all time. I absolutely love Zack Snyder's Justice League, and in my eyes, it will always be the definitive Justice League movie. And that will never change. I'm going to give Zack Snyder's Justice League a 9.5 out of 10. And with all that being said, the winner is Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's the definition of epic, and it is truly a phenomenal movie that every superhero movie fan must watch. 